Which area are you guys in? Loot Galane? Loot Galane, yeah. Or, Dean, have you seen some of the footage of Mortal Kombat 11? Yes. Have you seen some <laughs> of the fatalities? Oh, yeah. Some of those are disgusting. <laughs> Did you see uh, Garrus's one? Uh, one? Which one's Garrus? Garrus, he's a new character, I think. It was, was the a... one with the... Sa he's like a Sandman. He's like a time guy, kind of like the main lady. Yeah. Like yeah. Manipulate sand. That was the that was my least favorite one, just because that was like too much. Like some of it were so fake. You're just like ah. That's They're so really fake. into like taking people's eyes out now. So. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, like a I lot haven't of, seen any of them. Yeah, a lot of them are so fake. It doesn't bother me. But the one with uh, Garrus was just like man, I can't even believe it. No wonder this game yeah. is banned in some countries. It looks like it's gonna be just crazy violent <laughs> i mean yeah. not that the series hasn't already been but like it just looks visually like violent. now instead of doing the x-ray stuff they're doing like these moves where it's just like tons of blood comes out of the enemy right well it's because this one's supposed to have like time manipulation so that way if like someone dies then they can time manipulate it so that way they come back or something i don't know uh, yeah i think yeah, I think because of the whole time element, it's probably a thing where they're going even more crazy with it. Yeah, like I, I, I was just listening to a podcast, Ultra Chan podcast. James Chan is a is a pretty big commentator for a lot of the Evo sports, and they said like, there's no way this game is ever going to be on a main stage at Evo. Like it'll definitely it'll definitely be at Evo. I mean, it's already assigned for Evo. But they're yeah. gonna make it like one of the first games to like kind of get out of the way because a lot of Evo is uh, televised. Yeah. You know, and they can't televise this because it's just too graphic. Yeah, it's and too much. And they'd get in trouble with like sponsorships and stuff like that. Do they have injustice? They did last year. If they keep that, that'll help another room. How long of a gap was there between Injustice Two and Mortal Kombat XL? I think those series go like every other year. It would be smart for them to make a tournament mode that would, like, kind of tone down the chaos of that game. <laughs> That's what they were saying. They were, they, uh, they were saying that if they made a mode that eliminated or, like, made it that you couldn't do the fatalities, then it would probably get televised, I guess. Yeah. Like, they'd get a lot, they'd be able to broadcast it in more places because ESPN has already said like we're not doing anything with this game yeah. I don't know for some reason I guess when I'm playing fighting games I just I just don't really care about reality that much right well you shouldn't I don't know a single fighting game that tries to be realistic that's fun people used to complain in the Tekken subreddit about how they hated the physics in the game because once you like launch your character you basically keep them floating in the air with like punches and kicks and stuff like that and it's like that's pretty much every fighting game like they were like can someone please make a mod where all the fight like all the scenes in it are super realistic when you punch and kick each other and I'm like well then it's, then it's no longer Tekken at that point yeah. you know like once yeah. you get once juggling has always been a part of fighting games so right you really can't think of I think the closest one I can think of would be Virtua Fighter and even then that the physics in that are super unrealistic. I actually played Virtua Fighter two times ago when we were at Monday Night Casual mm -hmm. and I learned really fast that the easiest way to beat your opponent is just low kick. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Just do a sweep. Just constantly low kick. No, not sweep, just constantly low kick and huh. you're going to win. Really? Yeah. That's boring. Because I was playing with Chris, and he's like, hey, you figured out how to play Virtua Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which, uh, well, speaking of other games, genres, have any of you played Firewatch? I have. What Jake, did you, what's which, your opinion? Yeah, I want to know Jake's opinion of it. Before we share ours. I love Watch. I think it's a great game. You really? love it? Yeah. Really? Well, then I highly recommend What Remains of Edith Finch, because we played What Remains of Edith Finch first, and I think like it's one of those situations where a lot of people loved Firewatch, so I was excited to play it, but it's just yeah. not on the same quality as What Remains of Edith Finch, at least for me. Not for me either, because we're on like day 72 or whatever, and I'm just like, man, this writing is so not good. <laughs> Really? I thought it was cool that you're just a guy out there 
in the forest. That is cool, but that I just thought cool. the writing wasn't cool. I thought the writing was really forced. So you like really... the premise, you just don't like the the writing. That makes sense. The thing that you're trying to find out about is really interesting, and once like the the payoff is really satisfying. Oh really? Well, that's what I'm waiting okay. for, but it's sure yeah. taken a long time to get to that point. Well, you gotta get to the end. That's the thing about walking simulators. They're not interesting until you beat no, the entire No, that's not that's the what, case. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's a generalization. Play. That's not true. That's that's what, that was, yeah, that's what I thought, because most people say that's how it is with walking simulators, but the two walking simulators I've played, Soma and... Although Soma, people argue it's more of a horror game than a walking simulator because it's made by the same people who did Amnesia. But you don't shoot anything. You only walk around in the game, but you have to play hide and seek. That's like saying Amnesia is a walking simulator. It's the same kind of game. But you don't shoot anything. You just What, what, what would you, you call a game that all you can do is walk in it? You don't shoot anything in Amnesia. You... Well, would that, would that mean that Amnesia is a walking simulator? No, it's a hor it's a it's a it's a horror adventure game. It's like a puzzle horror game. It's, yeah, it's puzzle. It's there's okay. puzzles in it. Well, what it means of Edith Finch is literally just walking, and it doesn't. I mean, there's moments in it that are tense, but it's not really a horror game. But I thought that game was fascinating from like start to finish. From start to finish, like I really did. Like literally, you start it up and it just jumps you straight into the game. Like there's no, literally no like menu until you press the escape key and then the menu will pop up. But as soon as you click that icon, or I think they made it for PS4, which I mean, if you're if you're gonna play it, I play it on the settings that make it look the most pretty because it's extremely immersive and the graphics are actually really really good. So if you, I would recommend if you don't have a PC that can handle it at 60 frames per second, then I would recommend a PS4. It doesn't, it doesn't do 60 frames per second. Oh, that's right. It's only 30 frames per second. But it's just so beautiful looking that you like forget that it's not 60 frames per second. A PC game that can't do 60 frames per second? Well, it's not that it, it can't. Created. I don't think it was created yeah. for it. I think that's really dumb for a PC game. But I guess if you're just walking around, it's not a big deal. Pretty, well, sure, I... pretty sure Diablo's not 60 frames per second. Well, yeah, but it's not a first-person game. I'm talking about first-person games where you have to aim around. I didn't like it at first. <laughs> when I first started playing, I was like, what is this? It's locked at 30 and I can't do anything. I didn't like it at first. And then the story got so interesting super fast that eventually I just forgot that it wasn't. Mega Man moves at like six frames a second. No, it's not. It's 60. No, Mega Man I... uses that thing they call parallax scrolling which is... no it doesn't that game runs at 60 frames a second i was making a joke anyways the animation <laughs> the animation dean didn't know what he was getting into you frames. gotta watch out dean <laughs> it's like calling wave dashing a glitch <laughs> i'm not trying to start an argument i'm ignorant here like nes games really ran it 60 frames a second? No, yes. No. Really? No. Yes, they do. You got to read. Okay, the science behind it. When people are talking about frame rate, that's generated through a 3D environment. Like, for example, if you're going to talk about the Super Nintendo's ability to render frames, you couldn't base that off of a game like Super Mario. You could only base it off of a game like Star Fox. Even though it looks like 60 frames on Super Mario because of how smooth it is, they, it, there's a, a trick called parallax scrolling. The Super Nintendo is incapable of rendering 60 frames per second. That's not true. If you take a video, a 60 FPS video of it, it will still come out in the 60 FPS. Hey. What? When I record Diablo, I accidentally recorded it in 60 frames per second. <coughs> and I went, I went to edit it, and it said it was still at 60 frames per second. It was not at 60 frames per second. Yeah, that game doesn't run at 60 frames per second. Well, that's said... what I'm saying is that it still said it's rendering this this video at 60 frames per second. Well, yes, but you can physically tell with your eyes what's 60 frames per second and what's not. No, because they use parallax scrolling to trick your eyes. No, parallax. Hmm. All parallax scrolling is is when they make backgrounds that look immersively scroll across a side-scrolling environment. That's all that is. But when Mario is running, or when Super Metro, any of those games, whenever their feet are moving, those frames are not 60 frames per second. No, because they didn't make that many frames of animation. It doesn't mean exactly. the game itself is not running at 
at 60 frames per second. Just because the there's not that many frames of animation in the sprite doesn't mean the game itself isn't running at 60 frames so per second. So they use, for the background, they use parallax scrolling, but then for the actual characters, it's whatever frames they used when they drew the sprites. But the exactly. But the Super Nintendo is not rendering itself when you're watching that TV screen. It is not capable of rendering itself at 60 frames per second. If it could, then Star Fox for the Super Nintendo would not be as choppy as it is. Like when you play that game, it's super choppy because it's trying to render for actual frames, not well, sprites. Oh, I, I know what I know what you're talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, I guess help me understand what you're talking about. Then. I'm talking about the game itself. I'm not talking about the sprites. I'm not talking about the animations. I'm talking about the game itself that you see. Right. Runs at 60 frames per second. So you're saying based upon what your eyes are able to see. Exactly. Just like the original Super Mario Bros. ran at 60 frames per second, it doesn't matter if they only have like three frames of animation on the sprites, the game itself runs at 60 frames per second. So then what would you say, since my eyes are looking, like right now my eyes are looking at Shauna, like, does that mean Shauna is being rendered at 60 frames per second? <laughs> it means, if you're thinking of it in those terms, it just depends on how many frames your eyes can perceive in reality. I'm pretty sure the human eyes can't perceive anything above like 80 or 90. So how come people who play competitive first person shooters do better with a mo with a 144 hertz monitor? Because there's less input lag. Okay. So you have more reaction time. Oh, I see. I remember seeing on Nintendo subreddit, a Hispanic showed a pic or, or put a picture of Mario wearing a sombrero and people were like, and a whole bunch of white guys, Caucasians were like, this is so racist and stuff like that. And then like all the Mexicans <laughs> came back at it and be like, no, you're being racist. We think it's cool that Nintendo is paying homage to our culture by putting a sombrero on Mario and you're the one being stupid stupid and racist by saying that this is <laughs> racist when I'm like thank you someone who has a point you know and the thing but the thing is people still have that mindset like just last night we were at a dinner party with some friends and they were talking about Gundam because they're really big into anime they said that there was uh, anime show called G Gundam or something like that where each one of the robots is was based off of a certain race Mm. And so there's a robot, there's a Gundam robot that actually has like a metal hat that looks like a sombrero and his feet kind of, and his legs kind of look like metal cactuses. And they're talking about like, this came out in the 90s, so this was like super racist and stuff like that. I'm like, how is that racist? You know what I mean? Like, why is, why is generalizing a particular race racism? I think racism would be like, like my grandparents, they were racist. An example of that is whenever an African American was walking down the sidewalk, and they saw him, they my grandma used to like go over to the window and pull the curtains, so they mm. couldn't see inside because she was afraid that if they looked inside, they would want to break in and steal something. That's racism, you know, because you're you're not even giving them a chance to prove themselves. You're judging them based off the color of their skin, just like Martin Luther King was fighting against. But just simply being like, hey. All white people like to eat mayonnaise. You know what I mean? Like that's just kind of funny. That's kind of more of a stereotype, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So anyway, go yeah. ahead with your thought. I just want to throw that out there. I wonder if your grandma thought that black people could teleport into areas they could see. So then she had to like close the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> like Nightcrawler from X Men. <laughs> yeah. It's like crap. <laughs> they can teleport to the places they can see. Close the curtains. <laughs> A elderly person that said, "My neighbors are pretty nice for Mexicans." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Wow!" So, games that you buy on the PlayStation Store are transferred, just like if you buy them on Steam, they're transferred to your account. The key for that game is transferred to your account. It's not transferred to the console. Or back in the the Nintendo Wii period. If I bought, like, say, Super Mario World for the Nintendo Wii, it was transferred to the console, it wasn't transferred to my account. So I had no way of tra of taking that game and putting it on a different Wii in case that Wii broke or I sold it. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Nintendo made their own account system. Oh, that's awesome. I like that a lot. Good. Yeah, like, about freaking time, right? Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, it's just 2019. <laughs> they did a lot of things right with the Wii U. It just didn't have a good name. Zombies is better in Black Ops and multiplayer is better in World War II? Yes. So in order to have the full experience, you have to buy both games. Because Activision are genius. The multiplayer is fine in Black Ops. In fact, it's gotten much better. By the way, I couldn't seven. join you, Jake, because I don't have the DLC, so it kept telling me you were in playlists with DLC maps or something. Well, yeah, but I was just playing in public. I could play on non-DLC. Well, noted for next time, then. You should get on Discord and say, hey, put playing on your DLC and play with me. <laughs> in your DLC. Your DLC. <laughs> Aaron, is, is homage, is that like a southern thing? Homage? It's homage. Homage? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I read a lot as a kid and no one ever said that word to me my entire life. <laughs> That's how they said it when I was reading it. Um, the... <laughs> the, uh... One that you guys say in the Midwest, that is so hard for me to get used to. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get used to it and I just can't, is how you pronounce roots. 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 You say ruts? No, ruts. Not I, ruts. I don't say ruts. What do you say? It's roots. It's roots. 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 I say roots. My roots. argument every it's time, all... every time the roots thing comes up, it's like the same pronunciation for books and took and shook and all that. It's roots. If you look it up in the dictionary, I don't know what it says because I've never actually looked up that word in the dictionary. There are some double O words that, yeah, like don't. Because English is weird like that. English is weird. Really. I'm thankful that I English is my native language because I don't want to learn it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a nightmare to learn English. Yeah. English to other languages is pain to learn, I hear. Oh, I yeah. believe it. There's so much slang more so than any other. Man, we do have a lot of slang here. We change a lot. And it depends on what part of the country you're in, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff. And the United States is huge. It's huge. I mean, you go to like Korea or Japan and everything is just kind of, I mean, it's kind of a small, like, I mean, they... Germany, Germany is the size of Texas. My seven year old daughter legit got mad one day. Like she was angry because there was something that she was learning that she's like, but that doesn't follow the rule. It's like, how am I supposed to understand it when the, it's like, what's the point of the rule? <laughs> and I'm right. like, well, like, yeah. You homeschool your kids, right? Yep. So, like I was saying, we've been playing Firewatch for uh, at least four hours by now, right? Or three hours? We put about four hours in. Four hours? And I'm still waiting for... It's a, it is, it's a longer game than what means of Edith Finch. Edith Finch was really short, but really intense for us. For, for, intense for a walking simulator. I feel like the only walking simulator I actually want to play is um, Stanley Parable. That's a good one. I still it's have so yet to play that one. It's on, I think it's on both PS4 and Xbox, isn't it? Dude, that's PS4. good to know. I Yeah, I literally did not know that. They actually announced that at the uh, Game Awards, the last one. Our internet was out. And lately, all I've really been playing is uh, like Apex Legends and Call of Duty. Uh -huh. So then it was kind of like this weird, like, <laughs> like what am I going to play? So I started playing uh, Super Hot. That's oh. a big game. That game's... That game's actually pretty rad. Is uh, it really? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was really cool. It's on, I believe it's yeah. on good old games. I'm going to check it what out. What kind of game is that? The way it works is as you move the world around you moves, when you stop, the world stops. Yeah, so time moves with you, and then it's really more of a puzzle game than a, but it, it the it's packaged like a first person shooter. It's got this like uh, old school DOS PC game feet, like vibe to it. In essence, you watched a movie for four hours. Basically, yeah. Yeah, it's so boring. I would have turned it off if it was a movie. Wait, are you talking about <laughs> Edith Finch? No, oh, Firewatch. No, oh. Firewatch. Really? You think really? Fire... All just this like, girl getting on the radio and it's like, Hey, so, I think I'm funny. Uh, what do you look like? Jake, do you know the basics <laughs> of humor? I'm not saying it's literally a movie. I'm saying it's like watching a movie. Yeah, if you press Man. R, you stop running, and that helps you gain stamina while you're still fighting. This thing keeps oh. chasing me, and I don't... Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness, where are you? Sometimes I forget how much fun zombies is. You forget how much fun zombies is? Yeah. 
I don't know how you can forget that because I hear you talk about zombies a lot. I am really passionate about my zombies. So how in the world do you sometimes forget how much fun they are? Because sometimes it's frustrating when you get to a really high rank and die and think, man, I hate this game so much. And then you take a break for like days and play it again and you're like, this game is still really fun. That's oh, how I feel. I get that. That's exactly how I feel about Dead Cells. I got to, so I finally started replaying Dead Cells again. They did like a major update to it and they literally just make you start from the beginning and they added like in-game achievements. This is on Switch. I'm like kicking all kinds of butt and I'm playing really well and I've got all kinds of awesome gear. And so I get all pumped up and I get to the hand of the king and I get just annihilated. And then I'm just like, <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> you know, similarly to zombies, like you get so far and then the next time you play, you start from the very beginning and like you start completely over. It's fun, but it's also frustrating. Dean, how are you liking the Patrick stockpile mode? I played it a, a few times. It's it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun though when you pick up a ton of clover leaves and then then you drop them all off in the pot of gold. It's pretty satisfying. Yeah. I played uh, Apex Legends and I got my third win. It was the first time that I got a win that I really felt like I contributed to the team and like I felt like I earned the win along with everybody else. Dude, I like jumped up out of my seat and was like shouting. <laughs> I was like so pumped. I was like shaking. Oh, Dean. We need to play duos in Blackout. It's fun. Yeah. Does Apex have crossover? Uh, they're working on it. Uh, it's supposed oh, to have it. sweet. Well, yeah, when they have crossover, be... we should definitely do some Apex. Hey, uh, Dean. Tyler. Yeah. Hmm. Jake. Uh, Aaron. We need... Go ahead and then I'll talk to Tyler. Um, I'll talk first and then I'll talk to Tyler. Jonna. Daddy? Tyler. Jake, go ahead. Jake, you go first. Jake, start first. You go first. You start first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Jake. We need to play Blackout together. I can give that a shot, yeah. I would honestly like to bike Blackout more than I do. I just want to get better at Battle Royale before I try Apex. See, I They just, it just is designed better. What is your favorite gun to use in multiplayer in Black Ops 4? I tend to use like the auger a lot. Um, Dude, that is need... my favorite gun right now. Guys, I have a dilemma. What's your dilemma? Okay, so I have an, I just realized that my armor, my breastplate armor is ethereal, so it cannot be repaired. So it's red. Yeah. Does that mean it's broken? Probably. Yeah. I think that would explain why I've been dying so easily, because they basically yeah, no. have, You're basically my, I have a good helmet, but I don't have good armor. You think they're ever gonna make Age of Empires again? That's a hard one because mm. Microsoft fired Ensemble Studios. Like those mm. guys all got sacked. Ensemble Studio was working on the last, uh, what was the Halo Wars? Is that what it was? Yeah, well, there's Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2. I've never played the second I was one. Playing, I, played... I was playing that through Game Pass, the second one. I haven't beat it yet, I've played quite a bit of it. I can't remember if it was the Halo Wars or what it was, but they were working on an RTS and Microsoft literally came into their office and was like, all right, as soon as you guys are done with this game, you're all fired. And what? They, yep, they still had like several months left before they were, their contract was up. So can you imagine like being like, I have to finish this game because I'm under contract, otherwise I could get sued, but I'm gonna lose my job after this is all over because they, that would suck so bad. Speaking of RTS, I bought Red Alert 3 for really cheap on Xbox One. Well, it's a 360 really? back back and pat, but I really liked Red Alert on PC back in the day. And then uh, I saw really? some stuff about this game, and it's got it's got like these amazing like FMV uh, yeah sections right. that has like Tim Curry and some other people, and I'm just like, this looks amazing. <laughs> Tim Curry was in Red Alert. He was in Red Alert 3, yeah. Really? That's yep. so cool. I was watching a review for it the other day and I was like, dude, this game looks awesome. 
You're gonna it's, have to show it to me next time we get together. I want you to show me it because yeah, I would I love can do this. that. That would be so cool. I've been having a hard time getting used to playing RTS games on with a controller. I like Halo Wars, but it's definitely hard to get used to that. While I'm thinking about it, have you played the free Mega Man game? That Capcom like kind of no, officially. No, I know what you're talking released. about, but no, I never like, did play it. That's the Mega Man versus Street Fighter. Yes, I have. I'm gonna play it after I play the uh, like the stuff in my Legacy Collection, but is it a I have game? it. Yeah, is it a fighting game? Good. It's a good yeah. game. You know what though? I gotta say, it, it sure seems like Capcom's on a roll right now. It kind of started with RE7. That game was really good. Then Monster Hunter World seems like it's really good. The RE2 remake, and then. Devil May Cry. I've heard Mega nothing but good things. Oh yeah, Mega Man 11. I've, I've heard that even though Capcom has come out with some really great hits, it's still struggling financially. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. It's too bad that they just, they really fell off hard on fighting games in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It just is unfortunate. But at least they're making good games still, you know? Like yeah. Dude, I'm waiting on a sale, but I'm going to get a uh, 25th anniversary collection for the 30th. 30th. I want to get that anniversary collection for PS4. I, well, I bought it on Switch. I don't know. I have most of my fighting games on PS4, and I kind of just want to get it on there, too. I'm not going to get rid of my Switch copy, but I got an adapter so I can play fighting games with my fight stick on my Switch, but then I don't know. If I find a really good deal, I'm probably going to get it, too, just because uh, a lot of people have gotten back into Third Strike. Do I need to resurrect Azrael? Well, that's just your companion. You can resurrect them because you they they're sort of gaining experience with you. When you said Azrael, I about your tail, and I died a little bit inside. Why? What are you saying, Jake? Nothing. Ignore me. I, I think it probably has to do with the story, which I haven't played it, so I don't know. Uh, don't spoil it for me because I still have yet to play it. I actually started playing it and got kind of, well, not far, but I got like past the first two towns in it or whatever. And then Jake said that Undertale was overrated, and so I stopped playing it. It's over. Uh, that is exactly the problem and exactly <laughs> the point of why we talked about overrated games that all that time ago. The point. Oh, <laughs> Nothing. What, what, Shana? I was going to say, I love talking about overrated games. <laughs> the, point, the point of why I brought that up in all that time ago was because the point I was trying to make is games that are said to be overrated aren't bad. Well, I quit playing yeah. it because I was like, I really want to know the story so that way I can like experience and talk about it with Jake. And the Jake was like, Undertale so overrated. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just do my own That's thing. That's the then. problem. That's the entire problem. Just because it's overrated doesn't be talked about or that it should be hated on. I mean, it's yeah, overrated I... for a reason. <laughs> Some people had to like it. Or it's paid to be liked. Like no. Overwatch. That's... No. I know. I'm not talking about Undertale. I'm saying... I'm talking about overrated. The word. In games. Yeah. Overwatch is definitely overrated. I'm not talking about Undertale. Yeah, I think Overwatch because is Because I've overrated. never played Undertale, so I can't even talk about that game. The reason things become overrated is because so many people like them. So why is it a thing where people have to hate on the game just because people like it? Well, I don't I think that's the I, actual that's reason. Not how, that's not, I don't think that's what overrated is, in my opinion. I think the reason is sometimes you don't like an overrated game if you don't think it's worthy of the praise that it gets. Like, you think, yes, like... that's what overrated is. Yeah, like, you have an opinion of it. think it's bad. Okay, so not every overrated game is unworthy of the praise. Like, for example, I don't see what the big stinking deal is about Fortnite, but it's just, it doesn't appeal to me. Like, I struggle with the building. I can kind of see why people like this, but then when I play it, I just find it frustrating. And exactly. I don't think I don't think the aiming mechanics are good. I don't know. I just don't get into the whole like vibe and aesthetic of it and everything. People act like some overrated games are like the, the devil. I don't. It's a thing where you just don't get it and it doesn't appeal to you and like you want to be in on it with everybody but you're not one of these people that just does things just for the sake of because it's popular. So you almost start to hate it because you're like, I wish that I liked it but I just don't care. Like I remember when Pokemon Go came out, like everybody I knew was playing it. And then, like, people were giving me crap. They're like, you seriously aren't playing that? Like, you haven't downloaded it on your phone? And I was like, no, I just I don't I have any desire to play it at all. 
at all. And like, it gets to a point where sometimes people are so obsessive about a popular thing and they're so pushy about it, it can drive you to hate it. it it's not the fault of the game. It's, it's more the fault of the way people act about it. I really, 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 really like Pokemon Go, but I would never ever say what you haven't played that game you have done that because that's just stupid you shouldn't say yeah. like that yeah it is dumb <laughs> because that, that does ruin the reputation of something that is fun exactly so i i haven't stopped playing pokemon go since it came out but i've never ever said what <laughs> i will also i will also admit jake i'm just going to be honest with you and not try to pretend otherwise I personally take enjoyment sometimes in hating things. It's fun to do it sometimes just to like get a reaction out of people because you know they really like it. So when you are resistant to it, they get all flustered and then you just like, I'm pushing your buttons and it's just too easy. <laughs> I think a huge problem with the way people talk about games nowadays is not enough people are willing to have a discussion about why they like things, why they dislike things. They just like to spam that they like or dislike something. But that's, some that's just human nature. Like that's how people are with politics and everything. I think that social media brings out the worst in people and that... It, yeah, I agree that, wholeheartedly. I really think it's Facebook cause... should be deleted. I, I oh, think yeah. that Facebook, Facebook needs to... Twitter, MySpace, all, all of them. MySpace? <laughs> MySpace is already what? dead. <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe you said I that. I don't think I think I don't think I ever deleted my MySpace actually. I don't think I did either. It's probably gone just from inactivity. Is that thing? Is that yeah. I think one of the worst things to ever happen to the internet is actually Facebook because there are people that I have met online who are just absolute jerks and then I meet them face to face and they're well, really, really nice people. Well, you're less likely to be punished online than you are in real life. I also am convinced that the majority, I'm not saying everybody, the majority of people don't think for themselves. The majority are followers. No one says oh, it. No, they died. I because died the majority sucks, I die. I blame the majority for my death. One says it. It's so obvious it no one says it. <laughs> oh, I'm all about saying it. People, people do say it. That's where the term sheeple came from. Be very, very careful because I'm battling a boss and this thing is like two bites, you're dead. Do you want me to come help you? Okay. Yeah? Let's get it out of the way. There I'm going to follow Sean in there. This thing is a monster. I don't know where it went. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's got spikes in his back. Where's my body? Dean, be careful. No. Dean, stay away from the battle. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, God. We got him. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Welcome. Is that Dean on the ground? Yes. Dean, you're a naked guy, too. Where's all your armor? There's blue dead Dean and there's purple dead Dean. Now I gotta get my other one. No, Dean! No! This is frustrating. This game. Is your face getting itchy? <laughs> no. Oh. Dean, did you get your body back? Because it still says dead Dean I, on the map. Uh, I don't know. I may have lost a lot of money. Uh, Aaron, did you pick up any of Dean's dead money? Mm -mm. Did Anita tell you that she saw me at Walmart a couple days ago? Yeah, she did tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell her that when she saw me, I was in the process of getting kicked out of Walmart. Really? Yep. What? Because Why? you know I you know I scan stuff at retail stores, and oh, apparently yeah. this is a new manager, and he's like, I don't know why you're here, I don't understand why you're here, and I want to speak to your superiors because uh, my explanation of why I was there wasn't good enough for him. Oh, so when she, when she was like, hi, Shauna, I was actually like getting yelled at by the manager. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, Anita. It's <laughs> funny It was funny because the guy was like not kind at all. Dang, but, she, but, Anita, but Anita asks him, do you have any green peppers in the back? And he's like, <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was a really funny situation because he was like being rude, is funny. rude to me. But he had to be it's kind not. to Anita because she was a customer. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> It sounds like the manager wasn't be there. What's that? It sounds like the manager wasn't in informed. Is that what you said? It, it sounds yeah. It sounds like the new guy was. It keeps cutting off. <laughs> whatever whatever words you're saying, it cuts off. <laughs> the last time. <laughs>
sentence keeps getting cut off. That happens to me on the Xbox a lot, and it drives me crazy. Well, that manager didn't know, I, didn't understand why I was there, and he didn't like me there, and he was very suspicious of me. And so I submitted that to my boss, and my boss submitted that situation to like the head people, and they're gonna try to contact that Walmart. So for now, I'm not allowed in that Walmart. It's not weird. Dang, that is weird. Hey, that is really funny. <laughs> like, what do they even think I'm? Like, how can I harm their store by what I was doing? So by scanning things. Yeah, but how is that? What do they think that's doing? Your comp com competitor. <laughs> I don't think Walmart really has very many competitors. Of all the stores to get kicked out of, I wouldn't have never. I would never thought it'd be Walmart because of how big yeah. they are. So. Yeah, they're like, you can't take us down. We're we're unstoppable. Maybe yeah, that's yeah, really we're... intimidating looking. Well, they probably know that you're a demon slayer. He's the Reggie of Walmart. <laughs> hey, I thought you liked Reggie. I do, but I was just, I thought you would funny. <laughs> it was funny, but then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Reggie's doing out there in the Tropicana. I hope he's actually playing games for once. Well, he's got that's plenty of time now. That that's he's retired. Is, hey, that's one he's, of the things that he was going to do, is I play hope. more video games. I hope so. He's playing games with his giant hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And eats it and eating pizza. <laughs> and, so oh, yeah. now, and so now he's like, oh, so this is what I've been marketing for the past whatever years. <laughs> By the way, I heard that Pizza Hut might be bringing back the Pizone. I'm pretty excited. Oh, that's awesome. It's one of the few things at Pizza Hut I genuinely really, really like. Their wings are a little overpriced, but they're awesome. Hey, I have, a, I have a something to bring up since you're talking about wings being overpriced. You want to know yeah. what one of my least favorite restaurants is in America? What? what? Buffalo Wild Wings. My, my, my dad doesn't like I used to be a fan of Buffalo Wild Wings. Lately, I just feel like their wings have gotten worse and worse. And, and You know how Buffalo Wild Wings is right by Jay's? Yeah. yeah. The FGC wanted to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and this is the second time that they wanted to go. My first experience there, I didn't like either, but I was like, uh, whatever. It could have just been a bad night. My second time going there, I was like, okay, I don't like Buffalo Wild Wings because they're so expensive and their food is mediocre in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's not great. I like their boneless honey barbecue. I used to be a defender of that place, but I've not been impressed. I don't think I've ever been there. Well, you don't need to. I'd much rather go to Cece's Pizza right next door. Yeah. Even though it's not the best pizza. I haven't been to Cece's in forever. I need to go there again. Well, if you want I some cheap either. buffet, it's good. CeCe's is great. Have you all ever heard of Raising Cane's? Raising oh. Cane's? I've never heard of that. It's a chicken place. They specialize in chicken fingers or chicken strips, basically. Man, I'm getting hungry. I'm definitely going to eat when I'm playing. I'm getting kind of hungry, too. All right, quick topic of discussion. What? Yo. You have to rank stuff coming out this year in the order that you're most excited for. It has to be just excitement, not like what's coming out first. I'm really excited for the new Pokemon game coming out. This year. What's it called? Sword and Shield. Oh. The Sword and Shield? No. Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Oh. Uh, I'm also really excited for uh, Link's Awakening remake. Oh, yeah. What about a game called Mario Maker? That's not coming this year, is it? Yeah, it comes out in like June, I think. What? Okay, that's number one for me. The it's kind of a step up in the in the graphics of like what new Super U looked like. Mm-hmm. I, I think Aaron just left. He left to go eat something and he uh, the AFK. <laughs> he yeah. got hungry and he's just like yep. I'm gone. Yeah, he left to go eat. He didn't even say anything. I feel like that whole new Super Mario Bros thing, it kind of died with new Super Mario Bros. People yeah. were sick of it. <laughs> I just, I borrowed that game, didn't really care about it that much. I mean, I enjoy it every play for one, but like, we don't need any more. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Someone laughing? When? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like someone's laughing. Right now? Not now, but there was. Your turn. Well, I'm just confused. Games that you're excited about that's coming out. Doom Eternal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, it comes out, like, I think it's, like, maybe, like, in December. It's, like, towards the end of the year. Samurai Showdown. What's that? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Dang. It's a fighting game. What's wrong uh, with me? Isn't that at Evo? 
Yeah, it's in the top. It's not out there yet, though. Top. That's dumb. They did the same thing. Okay, so here's here's something interesting. When I was listening to the James Chan podcast that he brought up, because he's been a commentator for Evo since, like, the beginning of time. And he said something. He said... I, Wait, like Adam and Evo? Yeah, Adam and Evo. Like Adam and Evo, yeah. If, or Mr. Wizard is what people call him. I don't fully understand his reasoning behind this, but he said that he has to choose at least one game that he thinks won't have very many people turn up for it so that way he can have so many number of entries but at the same time get it off the list as quickly as possible so that he can move on to other games interesting and then at the same point though sort of promoting that game yeah it's like basically a promotion for the game but at the same time getting it off the off of the runways to allow room for other games because they're always under time constraints. They actually got kind of screwed over by it last year because last year he did the same thing with Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Blaze Blue Cross Tag had not come out yet. He scheduled it as a lineup for Evo, so it gave that gave it publicity. But at the same time, he's like, all right, it hasn't come out yet. There's going to be almost zero entries for it, so that way we can just get it off the list and we'll have more time to do with the other games because some of those games had like almost 2,000 people sign up for it. He's like, how am I going to manage time manage this? That makes sense to me because so, tournaments take longer than you think they're going to take. Right, right. That makes me so, even more mad that Melee's not there. Why? Does Melee need some promotion or something? No, that's the point. It doesn't because it's so big. Exactly. It's so big. It's 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 a capitalist. <laughs> it's basically the Walmart of fighting games. It is the Walmart of fighting games. I think Street Fighter is the Walmart. Maybe it used to be. That was our last podcast. I'm ready to move on to that. Everyone said their piece. And I don't think anyone is about to change their minds. Aaron said his two games was Doomy and... Uh, <laughs> Doom Eternal. Yep. Doomy and uh, Samurai Showdown is Aaron's two, two that he's excited for. Dean? 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 I think you went to go get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> you just got up and left like what Aaron did just when he got some food. <laughs> well, the whole podcast needs to yeah, go. Yeah, the Raven podcast King should all go. Isn't that right, Dean? Oh, I thought he was back. I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> I don't think I can just wash my hands. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, isn't that right, Dean? Isn't that right, Dean? No, yeah, definitely. I knew you'd agree. I knew you'd <laughs> All right. Are you leaving? Well, I'm getting out of the game, at least. First but... of all, before you leave, Dean, you got to tell yeah. us your game list of what you're excited oh, for. Oh, I will. I thought it sounded like someone was peeing or something, too. It was crazy. We don't pee on this podcast. No, we don't pee on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for another podcast. Yeah. <laughs> this is a PG podcast. Is that secret guy been here this whole time? Is he hearing all this? Who? Brian, yeah, no secret face. guy. <laughs> the secret guy. I don't know. Is he is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. I don't know. Yeah, he's still here. I, he's still on. Is he still muted? I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's listened at all. All right my list so number one's mario maker 2 mm -hmm. mario maker for some reason is my jam i don't understand why but it, i love it there's never been anything released like it before actually there is something that has come close to it and that is little big planet that's not mario i know but i thought you just said there hasn't really been anything like it yeah there hasn't been a Discord is being a jerk tonight because right. it's like cutting off the end of everybody's sentences. Dean? Dean? Not, am I here? Right, Mario Marker 2 and then Mortal Kombat 11. Really? All I'm right. glad that excites that's, you. That's going to be cool. Main reason being the gear system. I really got addicted to that in Injustice 2. And what's nice is they're making it even better and they're not attaching the stats to the gear. So the gear is purely aesthetic. Awesome. I would rather make a character look cool and look at look the way I want it to look and not like I've got this crap equipped because it's got really awesome stats. <laughs> right. Nether Realm understands obviously they're from the West, that helps, but like they just definitely understand what Western audience is looking for in fighting games. All 
the all the extra stuff they add just keeps you interested and engaged for far longer when you're more of a casual player. Number three is probably Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. What kind of game is that? So basically what they're doing is they're making kind of more of a linear story action with sort of like what they've done with Dark Souls, faster paced action game that's not like this deep RPG thing, if that if that makes sense. What's coming out of it? Oh, wow. Hold on. Time out. Rewind. Uh, <laughs> I would have to put, I would have to put Doom Eternal at number three, then, then Sekiro at number four, and then probably, man, I'm starting to forget everything that's coming out this year, but probably Samurai Showdown. Metroid got put on delay. Did it really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a whole thing. They're starting over, and and and. Uh, oh, that's right. You told me that. Retro, Retro's gonna make it now. Well, they were the ones oh, that made the the other ones. So that's such a good decision. It's kind of cool that they did this. They they literally came out and just put it all on the table. Like like, sorry, it's taking so long without any information. There, we had like ten studios working on the same game. They just decided to just scrap it and give it to Retro Studios. That's amazing. I'm so yep. proud of them. Because uh, that costs money. That cost, that'll yeah. cost them a lot of money, but in the end, it'll help their reputation, and I'm very, very happy they did that. Even though it's already out, I'll add, I'll add Devil May Cry to the mix. I really want to play that game. Like it looks legit. It looks, it looks really good. <laughs> I like that style of game. Have um, you played uh, the older Devil May Cry's? So here's what's weird. Way back in the day, when I had a PS2, I remember I rented. I want to say like the first Devil May Cry, and then I didn't beat it. I just kind of played some of it, and it was interesting to me. But it was just, I don't know. It was just kind of this weird. I'd never played anything like it before. On PS3. I played the DMC, the prequel one. I played Devil May Cry, the, the Ninja Theory made or whatever. Uh -huh. I actually liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. The story was weird and stuff, but... I think out of all the Devil May Crys, 3 is the one that still holds up. All, the, all of the original Devil May Crys, I think 3 is the one that still holds up the best. I think I'm finally going to get around to playing Metal Gear Rising. It's finally time. I still want to Platinum Games, right? Yep. Yeah, I definitely needed to give that a try because I really do like Robot Raiden. For some reason, they're bringing the original Turok to Switch. It comes out tomorrow. That's really um, weird. And I think they've just been trying to get as many ports as they can on there. And especially like stuff that used to be on Nintendo consoles, I feel like they've been going after. But I played it and like the stuff that I played in that era, I played like Doom and then Quake and Half-Life and all that kind of stuff. So I look at it and kind of go, uh, it's not bad, but <laughs> it's nowhere think... near Quake or Half Life. Yeah, I still think just... out of all three of those, I still think Quake is actually the greatest first-person shooter of all time. One thing I'm really excited about um, that comes out this month on Switch is Final Fantasy VII. Really, they're porting the Final Fantasy VII, the PS game, to Switch. How yep. interesting! It comes they, out this month. They have. They must be making a butt ton of money. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna be able to play Final Fantasy VII on the go, and it's gonna be the best thing ever. Well, you used to be able to anyway with the PlayStation uh, Portable. Another thing that I'm excited for that also comes out this is Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. I think it looks okay. I I'd, I'd probably want to play it. I played the demo, and it was really really. Fun. It looks really good. That's it looks really good too. No doubt. I think Good Feel is one of the best developers that Nintendo. I would agree. I never got around to playing Kirby's Epic Yarn, and they they're releasing it for 3DS. Like they kind of remade it and kind of made it more challenging. I kind of want to play it because that was like the biggest complaint I heard against that game was that it was just baby mode easy. <laughs> I mean, it's just like a like the sort of game you just walk through that's fun. The I just think. <laughs> No. Yeah. no. I think I would be more apt <laughs> to play it on my 3DS at this point right now than I would on my Wii. I do have my Wii hooked up upstairs, but I just, I don't know. I just rarely get around to playing anything on my Wii. You got to play Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. All right. Is that the one with the giant? I need to repurchase Mario Kart for Wii. <laughs> All right, everybody. There is pizza upstairs, so I... Oh, my goodness. I must part ways with you. See you guys. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye, secret person. <laughs> secret person? Who's the secret person? That's 
Bryant. Bryant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except I don't even know if he's here. I've heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saving and exiting the game. You're right.